relentlessly, essentially, they tax us relentlessly. In case George turns around and wants to set descendants free, this yeah, was they're going to set his descendants free, so there will be a revolution in the century. This to me, was my entire trip Don't be shocked when back to the actually. apartment. This was my entire oh, my trip sets back. Free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. Welcome to Calvin and Ren reviews. <laughs> we saw. We saw, we, no we didn't see Hamilton. <laughs> we did not see Hamilton, unfortunately. Uh, we did go and see The Summit, which is the last of our London Film Festival yeah. films. And, do you know what, we just can't be bothered. Yeah, it wasn't, in all honesty, it wasn't really a very good note to end on. Uh, the film was scatterbrained, lacked direction. Um, hinted at quite a few interesting plot lines, but it didn't really pursue them to any great degree that was that made it a good film, really. Well, if I, if I am bothering, it is an Argentinian political drama about this new president who, who's sort of just coming to power, his daughter's suffering from mental health issues, and uh, he's at the summit trying to negotiate some sort of vague deal about ex whether... Um, oil companies with um, other countries. Oil companies with other America. countries, and there's a, a new countries going to join this alliance. Mm -hmm. of Central, will the Central American, Caribbean, Latin countries join this alliance? So it, it's so... Um, uh, you, I heard say I thought this film was just um, a massive missed opportunity. Yeah, the, um, they, they really had like a lot of ways that they could have gone with this. Like, I mean, as Carl mentioned, um, his uh, the president's daughter uh, has, ment uh, has mental health issues and it, it hints at some sort of deep underlying trauma or something to do with the character. Is the microphone? Yeah. Um, or something to do with the character of the president himself um, and based on their history. Um, it also hints at uh, a deeper power that this president has to play within the role of this, uh, in, in the role of um, uh, the president of the summit. So I, I, I don't know, it, it feels like it could have gone in any, in any number of directions. Um, but ultimately, it ch it failed to choose one, and uh, its subtle inferences weren't really enough to carry the film, uh, and it didn't really leave enough of a strong message at the end of it. I didn't feel. Do you know I I quite a scene feel this film had a lot of ideas going for it, mm -hmm. and it never really goes. It never completes any of them. No, it never does, and it ultimately feels like it's. A it's a giant load of no it, it ultimately feels like a giant load of nothing. Yeah, they, it, it has it does conclude at least one storyline, but even then, I wasn't quite sure what it meant in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, they hinted a lot of political intrigue and um, you know a deeper level to the protagonist. Um, but the most yeah. interesting thing about this film went completely unanswered. Yeah, um, and and also it in so it, it hinted at a lot of future events. That um, you know, I don't think it was ever, it was ever going to be on the cards that they would answer what would happen uh, as a result of these things of, of these events taking place. But the fact is, it it included them and just failed to give us a an interesting conclusion, let alone a point for us to imagine what's going to happen in the future. Because one SD card change later, and we're back. Well, we'd, uh, well, you didn't need to say that because, of course, we'd, we'd, as far as the V is concerned, we'd, we'd literally gone from one to another. But the, 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 and the, we're back. But the, the, you, were say, you were saying you saw like a lot of the stuff goes absolutely nowhere. Yeah. Um, so, it, so, repeating from what I was just saying, uh, about fifteen minutes ago in real time, <laughs> in your eyes, less. Um, your uh, their eyes about two seconds. Yeah. It foreshadows, uh, the, the film foreshadows quite a lot of interesting events that will take place, but um, mostly after the events of the actual film it reach, uh, that, that it reaches uh, in the time frame that it gives us. Um, I mean, how long was the film? Did we find out? Um, Give me a minute. Because um, it, felt, it felt quite long, um, but again, it hinted at quite a lot of things, that really interesting um, things that I would have loved to have seen after the actual events of the film. I'm um, wagering on. Um, I'm wagering on two hours. Hmm. This is this is part of the thrill section. Oh yeah. Of the yeah. festival. <laughs> thrill. Edge of your seat. Edge of your seat. That, at no point was I at the edge of my seat. Like with these films. Uh, is um, just under two hours. 114 minutes. See, I, I, it was quite interesting because I thought I thought when I was watching this, I thought, right, there's, there's got to be some sort of like deeper level of. Of understanding that I'm just completely missing because it's like you know because it's a political film because it's quite an intellectual film or you would, you would assume so but it left me feeling quite confused and I checked with Calvin after um, 
I feel like it tried to do a lot of yeah. I mean, as Carl said, it, it tried to go in too many different directions and ended up overstretching itself, what? becoming a bit of an incomplete movie. I just I was left going. What's the reason for any? Yeah. Of this? What what, are the, what what's the significance of anything that's just happened? I mean, I recognise that it sure within the world of the actual film, the political ram like you know the ramifications would be huge. But to us as viewers, it didn't really feel as though. Uh, and it's uh, you said it yourself. This film is not that well reviewed. It's I think like fifty four. Yeah, I, 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 checked, I checked online uh, afterwards and it had like six point three on IMDb and fifty four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Also. Now again, IMDb is uh, that IMDb is uh, their average score is based on user comments content, so that's more the general public. You get yeah. more sense of the general public with that one. With um, with uh, Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes, it, that average is based on the scores of critics, yeah. professional critics. So it's not really doing that well with either market. With no. either market. I, I don't, it, and judging by those Rotten Tomatoes scores, because it would have gone, it, it's also not done too well in its native Argentina, mm. which I, I, I Interesting choice for the last film of the festival. And to be fair, I did choose this one. Yeah, I was about to say, um, you did pick this but one. But I actually completely forgot that I picked this one as well. Um, so it's, it's quite illuminating to see that apparently I have a really shit taste in films. Um, no, 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 I think you, there's a good idea here. There was yeah, a good idea. I was considering it at one point. I mean, on, on paper it sounded interesting because I was like, ooh. Yeah, but that was the thing for me. I, I didn't put anything down as a definite when I was considering my yeah. options unless I thought... Um, I was certain this was it was going to yeah. be good. I mean, I, 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 I thought it sounded intellectually stimulating, and you know, it could have been, but it really wasn't. I wouldn't go that far now. No. No. Um, so, would you say to say, buy, see in the cinema, buy on DVD, rent it, or avoid altogether? I think this goes in the late night movie category. If you can be bothered keeping up with subtitles as an English audience, um, and this is on at any point. Um, you know, like probably one or two o'clock in the morning when you're drunk and you're sort of burnt out in the front room. Uh, I would say watch this film. I wouldn't say actively try to watch this film. I'd say if, if it comes on free view at three o'clock in the morning, watch it. Wow, you're not even going rent. No. Um, I would go uh, pretty much on your yeah. level on this one. This is a rent or an in flight movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, in flight movie. That's a, that's a good one, yeah. But even if I did see it on an in-flight movie, I think I'd still be just as perplexed with it. So I don't. I, it's not a film worth really tracking down. No, not really. So we're done with the London Film Festival for That's this year. Completely done. Um, um, so uh, we'll go. F let's say what was your worst? What was your weakest film? I'm not going to say what. Maybe actually, no. I will say worst because it was one film. That, so your wor weakest film you saw of all the films we saw the fifty of the fourteen films we saw. For variety, because I know what yours is, I'm going to say Five Fingers for Marseille. I thought the story was weak. Um, it had, again, had interesting themes, but a lot of it didn't make sense, and uh, it was a bit of a, just a bog-standard uh, American Western film ported to uh, South African. I was, a, I was a little more forgiving with that one. Yeah, because uh, you've actually seen more Westerns than I have. So. Yeah, the, um, the, no, no, yeah, but then again, I've not really enjoyed Westerns all that much. Yeah. But uh, my pick for um, what weakest or worst or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to go for The Party. Yeah. It was just, I, with, at least with every other film, no matter what, I got something out of it. Yeah. I got nothing out of The Party. It just was, it's the sort of pretentious nonsense that... I'm afraid I'm going to get any time I go to a film festival screening or any art house a film art house film. I just did not care for it. Yeah, and I, like I, again for like I mean for for me I, I would like this is one that I, I really didn't enjoy that much. I thought it, I mean I, again I I think I think it's one that people will pick up and go wow it's so clever and witty and oh it's really good. And in reality you have to tell them it's got absolutely nothing. No, I mean like it, it, like critically reviewing it, I I, I feel like it, it lacks in a lot of areas. And what's annoying is Mark came over you it and he completely fell for it. Mm. He compl uh, most of the critics have they completely fell for it. And I'd be interested to see what it's like after general release um, and see. Well, it has been. It's been oh, out right. since. It's been out since Friday. Have, have you seen any reviews on it? Uh, yeah, it's been getting good reviews still. Okay, maybe we're the wrong ones. Maybe we're. No, no, we're not the wrong ones on this one. No, no, I'm. I am telling you that everyone just they just fell for it. Mm. They just fell for it and and thought. It's the sort of thing that critics fall for every time. Mm. 
your uh, your best one. What was the best film you saw? So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll choose. I'll, I'll I'll go for sort of like honourable mentions because um, yeah, we're gonna have to because there were so many good films. Yeah. Um, I mean, for different reasons as well. I absolutely loved Florida Project. I think Florida Project was incredible. We disagreed on that one because I didn't think I didn't yeah, think much you, of it you, at you all. Yeah, you didn't like it at all. I thought it was absolutely incredible. Again, I thought it was a really nice, interesting look into the um, into a lifestyle that we don't really get normally get to see. And your other honourable mention? Uh, other honourable mention: Mutafukas, um, just because sheer creativity, incredible thrill rides, so funny. Uh, and just again, not really like an animation style that I'm used to at all. And um, your best one, out of left field. Uh, and best one, Loving Vincent, hooray! Which um, um, is which very is, good. Yeah, technically, well, I'll let you know into it. But uh, I had, a, I would say, if I was doing like your system, I'd have that as an honourable mention. Um, that and Mutafuka as my honourable mentions. I'd say. Loving Vincent was technically the best film we saw or yeah. the festival on a technical level, and everything would judge. Well, technical levels and how we judge films, Loving Vincent did it best. Um, and for my worst, uh, and for the other one, Mutafukas, I uh, that was the one I enjoyed them. I, I yeah. got the most enjoyment out of. But if I went with the film that would probably stick with me the most, and I want to go and get tomorrow, it'd be Big Fish and Begonia. Yeah, I thought that would be it for you. Big Fish and Begonia was a really, really, really yeah. good film. As much as I didn't think it matched the Ghibli quality, I do not, it, when taking on its own thing and not comparing it, it's a really damn good film mm. and I think it's worth, it's really worth a track down. Yeah, I, I, I will, I, I kind of want to point out a few of the films that I think were kind of notable. Um, Big Fish and Begonia, really enjoyed. Um, Wonderstruck, eh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, really. it's, um, it's probably worth watching. Um, you probably will end up watching it when the what Oscar nominations come out. Yeah. Um, um, Brixby Bear. I was, yeah, very, Bear, yeah, I was very surprised we stopped. We didn't really talk much about it after we saw it. Mm. Yeah, uh, like it, it was incredibly funny, and you know, because uh, I think because it was the first one we reviewed. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, being the one that's farthest in our memory, it's quite, it's quite difficult to sort of bring comparisons to the same, other films that we've seen. But at the same time, I, I kind of enjoyed the yeah. movie, and I, 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 I thought, seen it again. I thought it, was incredib- I thought it was incredibly funny, it was well written, and anything by those guys I would like to see again. Um, um, also, uh, Battle of the Sexes, anything notable to say about that? I, I really enjoyed that yeah. one. I could very, see very good watch, very good watch. Uh, but if I had to pick... Uh, um, is there anything I think we missed off that I felt would pretty... Bounce and Pirate Soul Inferno was pretty good. Yeah, actually, yeah, that, that, was, an in, that was an interesting one. Um, yeah, it doesn't really fit into another category of what women pop and documentary, but like, mm. it, it, it's, so, it's so absurd and so strange. Yeah, but I'm glad you reviewed a documentary last week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Certainly one I've got an interesting band as well. Um, and... Uh, but I, th- I think that's pretty much it then. Unless yeah, no, I, I can't think of I can't think of any that I. I mean, later on in twenty fourteen, I would both really enjoy. But that wasn't. That was part of the festival, so I don't think we should really count that one. I think we'll oh. talk about that more when we do our best and worst of the year list. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Thank um, you very much for watching all of our vlogs over the film festival. If you didn't, if you haven't, we I've made a play. There's a playlist on my channel for all of our vlogs. You can watch them in order, so you see all fourteen films that we saw. All f- I can't remember fourteen or fifteen. But we, all those films we saw, you can see them in the order that we saw. You can see our reviews of them in the order we saw them. I think it'd be... Order. Uh, uh, if you want to get your Netflix or get your Amazon out, out when all these films are done, just rent them all and just go through, go through them and then watch our blogs. Because I think you, it'll be interesting to follow it with us. Yeah. But uh, like now that all the well, once all of the information's out there, and you know we're not just speaking about phantom films that people haven't actually seen yet. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back actually probably towards the end of the month for another Calvin and Ren reviews mm-hmm. because we're going to review for Ragnarok. Yes, we are. Uh, because we're, we're slaves to the MCU, we got at least three more Calvin and Ren reviews this year, but we may try and do some more because I um, we may try and do a few more. Uh, we're definitely doing uh, for them for Ragnarok. We're definitely doing Justice League mm-hmm. and Star Wars. Yeah. Um, we uh, but Anime Amigos is back on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wednesday, and it's uh, we said we'd announce it in this one. If you haven't been following on Twitter, we're going to do. We Ren really wanted to talk about some superhero anime. Yeah. So we decided I you we so we're combining with an idea that I've been trying to launch, which is we're having an anime showdown. It's going to be One Punch Man. Versus My Hero Academia season one, hmm. 
And we're only talking about the first seasons. It's going to be an interesting fight, fight to say the least. Yeah. Um, I know Ren's really looking forward to I'm it. Very much, I'm very much looking forward to it. I've, I've, I've actually been watching these um, back over, like, since their release, pretty much. Like, I mean, both season one of uh, the Mario Academia and One Punch Man, showing it to other people. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped. Do you know what's uh, interesting? I'm looking for. I'm really looking forward to that one. But if you can follow, if you like, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe to the channel because especially to keep up with what we're doing. Yeah, and help. remember to follow us on Twitter. We'll leave, I'll leave it in the description. Who do the one down there? Mm. Down there. In the doobity doo. In the description box. Yes, that one. Remember those things. Mm. Um, um, so thank you very much and. Uh, Signing off. Signing off. Don't do not sing Hamilton while you're doing it. I actually wasn't going to, but.